thank everybody for coming. It's uh, always in, in, you know, important for y'all to be a part of our program and help us uh, to build the process that, that we want to build and that's what we're trying to get done here. And I really want to thank our coaching staff um, uh, for all the hard work that they've put into this recruiting process because uh, I, I know they've worked extremely hard and done an outstanding job. Especially uh, I want to thank uh, Tyson Helton, who is our, our uh, recruiting coordinator, and Jay Chapman, who is director of uh, player development, and then, of course, Irvin Lewis, our director of football ops, uh, for all that he's done and all that they do, because it's a, it's a, you know, recruiting is a busy time for us, and they're the guys that have to do all the extra things and things behind the scenes to, to make sure everything's going like they want it. And, um, uh, but, you know, if we're going to be successful, um, you know, we got to, you know, recruiting is the lifeblood of any program, and we've got to do a good job of recruiting, and, and I think our guys have done a tremendous job with it, and uh, very happy and proud of it. Um, it's by far the most bizarre recruiting process I've been through. I mean, it's a process that normally, you know, a week or so third, you know, before signing things pretty much shape up, and, you know, you have an idea of, of 90% or 99% of the guys that what's going to, what's going to happen but even as of you know 9 o'clock last night I got a call saying someone wasn't coming to us and then I got a call at 12.30 this morning that somebody was coming to us and you know which in turn made us uh, decide to go on a young man this morning about 8 o'clock so, uh, so you know it, it's kind of a I guess a sign of the times or what, where we at in this recruiting business right now but it's by far the, the most bizarre process that I've been through you know and, and um, you know I know we don't play the games on paper but I think all in all this is by far on paper the best class since I've been here I think it's a class that is we went heavy on the defensive side of the football uh, out of necessity I think if you'll study our roster and we'll talk about them more specifically as individuals in a, in a little bit, but uh, something we needed to do. But at the same time, we were, we were able to maintain some type of balance, which I think is awfully important in signing a class uh, because you won't, don't want to get too out of whack. But uh, I do think it's a, a very good class on paper, but what we do with them when we get here will, will be just as equally important. Uh, most of you probably know seven – we already have seven guys here, seven midterm guys that are that are already on campus. Uh, hopefully, the rest of them will be here uh, summer, if not summer fall. Uh, and we are also still in the market for three to five guys. Uh, you know, we we've got uh, we still have some scholarships available, and uh, you know we have some needs to fill, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. But uh, we still have got some guys we're looking at. And, and trying to sign. What I'd like to do now is go through the, uh, you know, go by positions, the people that we signed, and and uh, say a few things about them. I don't want to say a whole lot. I, obviously, we're extremely happy to have them all here sign with us, uh, or we wouldn't have signed them. But at the same time, I don't want to put too much pressure on anybody to, to where they, you know, um, feel like they got to do something they're not capable of doing. But uh, going through it by position by position, uh, Quarterback Joey Fiegler. Joey's a guy that I've known for quite some time. Uh, I know when I was coaching at the University of Georgia, he was uh, came to camp as an as an early age guy when he was 12 years old or so, and so I've I've uh, known him quite some time. He's a left-handed quarterback. I think does an excellent job throwing the football. Uh, is a good enough athlete to do some things running it, and he'll come in uh, this summer and and compete with Izzy Bell to to see who's going to be Joe's backup, but uh, he's a good player. Uh, Daniel Bourne at running back is a junior college kid out of Jones Junior College, home out of uh, New Orleans. Uh, you know, a 5'11", 200-pound guy that I think brings a lot to us as far as being a physical runner. Uh, also, Rashard Wines, a high school guy out of uh, Warner Robins, Georgia. Is a, we've got him listed as running back, but uh, uh, in all honesty, he can be a running back, slot back, uh, again, a good size young man, a six foot, 210 pound guy that uh, brings a physical part to our game. 
And the next one is Reginald Bright, a young man out of Cairo, Georgia. Uh, won the state championship in Class 3A over there. Uh, again, a physical gab. All of these packs are bigger than the guys of what we're playing with right now, except for Justin Brooks. And I think that's something that uh, we're conscious of and we want to be more physical in the back end. Wide receiver is a spot that we're still looking to sign another person if we can find the right one. But the two guys we've signed I really like, Nick Adams, a young man that came to us out of Fort Scott Junior College, actually has three years left to play three. Um, his hometown is in South Carolina, uh, a 6'2", you 200-pound know, guy that runs very well, uh, catches the ball well too, and uh, I hope will add speed to us at the wide receiver spot. Freddie Moore is a young man, again, another big physical receiver, 6'2", you know, to 6'3", 190-pound range, a good athlete. I think his athleticism is kind of what sets him apart from uh, from anything else, but a guy that makes a lot of plays when he has the ball in his hands. Tied in, we have Ed Pruitt out of Theodore High School in uh, Mobile, Alabama. He's a young man, he's about 6'3 to 4, 230 pounds. Uh, I think has a tremendous upside. Uh, with Dan the Road, should be a very good player for us. Uh, offensive line, I, I really like the two guys that we've uh, got signed. Um, they are very, both very athletic, to be honest with you. They're both very similar. They're both about 6'4", 250 pounds. Very athletic guys. Chris Hubbard from Carver High School in Columbus, Georgia. And then Casey Ike from Central Gwinnett High School in uh, Lawrenceville, Georgia. But they, they are both very athletic. And again, a lot like Ed Pruitt has a tremendous upside. And I think will be very good football players. But that is also a spot that we would like to find and sign another player in the offensive line. Um, defensively, moving on to the linebacker spot, we've got five guys that we've signed. Darian Wilson is a young man that uh, comes to us from Junior Jones Junior College, uh, already here in school. Daniel White is a is a physical linebacker, also that we actually signed last year from Apopka, Florida. Did not qualify, ended up going to Hargrave, but uh, we got him back at midterm, so those two guys are, are already here on campus. Next three are, are guys that are high school guys that will be in here uh, this summer or fall. Marvin Burnett from uh, South Panola High School in Batesville, Mississippi. Uh, Marvin played on a team that had won something like 84 straight games. Um, he was the captain of that football team this year. They lost in the state finals in the state of Mississippi. Uh, but a very good football player. Then the next young man is Patrick Baston, a young man from Immokalee, Florida. Uh, some people have him listed as a defensive end tight end, but he, we're going to play him at linebacker. Very athletic, tall, rangy guy that runs extremely well and plays with a lot of passion. And then Greg Irvin, a young man from Demopolis, Alabama that uh, is a heck of a football player, maybe a little undersized but uh, plays the game extremely hard and, and does a great job. Uh, Cornelius Richards, a cornerback, young man from Tuscaloosa County, uh, probably the, without you know having all of them on the field in a foot race at one time, I'd say we think is the fastest guy that we've signed this year from Tuscaloosa County. He's a six foot, 170, 75 pound young man, uh, tremendous athlete and has good speed. Uh, Caleb Lester, the other cornerback from Douglas High School out of Atlanta, uh, very athletic. Uh, you know, plays uh, in high school. They played a lot of, you know, bump and run man coverage and did an excellent job with that. And I think has a lot of ability there. 